So in this session, we're going to talk about how to set up expression to work really well with view control and carbonite in this type of an environment. So we've gone ahead and we've built some of these custom controls for different lower thirds. What would be really nice is, is if I could incorporate that into other shows, making it very easy to move from one element to the other. So if I start thinking about things like, okay, my lower thirds. In this show, I've decided that my primary presenter's lower third would be ID 1001. The secondary would be 1002. So here, 1001, 1002, Nancy's would have been 1003. And then the next 1004, and finally this one would be 1005. Once I've built those custom controls and I've assigned them to the icons, it makes it a lot easier when I'm building my playlists, my sequencer elements in the expression, to assign things to the same similar IDs. Start using groups and ID numbers consistently from show to show. That way you set it up and you don't have to rebuild a lot of the elements, you're just reassigning them in the sequencer and the rundown. When you want to change the icon and view control, then all you have to do is capture it in the media store, go into your edit button, select that button, and now in those capture folders, you'll, have, you'll find those new icons that you created. So now I've got my new primary user lower third. So now when it's done, I would see that new lower third as the icon, and I would have assigned it to my 1001 location. And now it'll always operate the same. And of course, I could have renamed the button, so I could have said his name, in this case, Alex. So when you're using expression with the, the Carbonite and View Control system, it's probably best to sit down and create a common list of numbers and IDs. That way your show file can stay the same and you just change out your graphics file day to day and update your icons.